Give the info to your boss, and I want to be briefed at my hotel room at 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. Consider it done, sir. The agent's voice echoed through the phone. Anything else? Harblow said indifferently. There was a brief pause before the subordinate answered. Actually, sir. The agent said gently. What is it, son? The job of getting the information. He slowed his speech. We had to use unconventional means. Okay. Hardlow emphasizing his response. It was sloppy, sir. Sloppy? Hardlow asked. Yes, sir. Sloppy. What are you saying, young man? Well, sir, nothing really. It's just that we had some difficulty extracting the information from the banker, and I just hope there isn't any fallout. Fallout? Yes, sir. Fallout. Well, I'm sorry to inform you. That's really not my problem. Whatever fallout there is, is with you and your agency. I just needed the information. The guards waved us through, and we pulled into a large garage area. The door behind us immediately closed. A sense of claustrophobia ran through my body. The driver turned around and told me to sit still while he made a few adjustments. My heart began to beat faster. I then heard a loud jerk, as if someone was trying to put a car into drive without starting the engine. The boat hit the beach, causing a massive jolt that violently jerked my body forward. If I hadn't been lying on the floor of the boat, protected by its shell, I would have been catapulted onto the beach like a rock from a slingshot. There was blood smeared everywhere, and I temporarily lost consciousness. Coming to again, I rolled over to my side. I had forgotten where I was, or what I was doing. Then it came to me. Someone got tipped off. I had been shot and was slowly dying. The feds had me. I will never live my life in a Mexican jail, I told myself. I'd much rather die. And so I did, an ocean away from Tampico. Or at least, I thought I had. <laughs>